In part one we looked at processing the data. In part two we're going to look at how we, what options we have to output the data. In part one we looked at processing the data using the Analyze window and we can output the data from the Analyze window as well. You'll see that each of the uh, summary box and the individual data point boxes there's a copy button and we can uh, click on this and this copies the data to uh, the spreadsheet, sorry, copies the data to the clipboard so we can open a blank uh, spreadsheet and control V and paste the data in. Uh, and that gives us all our data points as shown in that window. Uh, we could also uh, copy the uh, summary area and paste that in as well and that gives us our averages and etc. Now that's uh, useful. Uh, another way to do it is if we click the report button That'll output essentially the same data as a text file, which we can then uh, open uh, using whatever package you like. A more versatile way, however, is if we go to the Output and Save User Specified Format Output option, we can see we have a huge range of options of what data we would like uh, to output. First off, you need to check whether you're outputting the standards or the unknowns. So we've got the uh, unknowns selected here, and there's a huge number of checkboxes of what values we would like uh, to output, which pretty much covers everything you might need to do. Uh, and when you click OK here, you're now given a, a DAT file, which is actually an ASCII um, text file, but this is going to be the data for all of your samples. Um, uh, so if we click Save, And you see down here it's going through each of the samples, calculating all of the data points. Uh, and it was saved, been saved to uh, user data. And you then ask the option if you want to send them to Excel. So we click yes. It'll open Excel and put all our data in. And you'll see that all of the sample data uh, now, strangely, it asks you if you want to save the changes, and it then closes Excel unhelpfully. Uh, so, if you then go to see user data, and open our spreadsheet. If I maximize that, you can see that uh, it's got all of the data from each of the samples with uh, all of the options uh, that we've selected. And this can create quite a large uh, spreadsheet. And you've then got the option of uh, splitting those samples out to separate tabs or however you want to uh, arrange it. Now, those are the options we have for uh, exporting. Uh, quantitative analysis data. Uh, in the next videos we'll look at how we uh, plot data and what our options are for uh, that and also for displaying images.